I'm going to give you guys a brief tutorial of some of the most important parts of my favorite song. This is Mercy by Amanda Cook. Um, a lot of guys don't know what to play on this song, so I'm just going to give you like what they play. Um, I play pretty much what they play on the There's songs where I'll re re uh, rewrite guitar parts too, but most of the Bethel stuff I end up uh, leaving the same because it's so good. Um, so I'm using, for this song, I'm using a dotted eighth delay at 740 milliseconds. So it kind of gives it that like skipping sound. Uh, I'm using a JHS modified Boss RV6 reverb, uh, Vox AC30. Um, I got it set pretty clean. For the delay, I'm using a Korg SDD 3000. That's kind of where I get some of that grit from. It's got a really great preamp section on it. So, um, here's the first part of the song. Um, so the first part is this guitar, uh, the lead guitar. My buddy Dave and I have figured out that this is the lead guitar part. So the lead guitar is playing this. things get tricky move a little bit closer so this is what that rhythm guitar part is it's literally just Sunday so the song Sunday bloody Sunday right is so they literally kind of modified this and if I know if I know Michael Pope and uh, and the guy the other guy that plays Bobby Strand I'll bet you anything they did it and as a nod to YouTube uh, anyway so the guitar part for the rhythm goes like this that last note so Dave's part would be same thing let that go for a while uh, and then for the uh, chorus you play the same thing and then um, once you come out of that um, I usually just play uh, some chords under that I don't know the lead part it's something like
kind of mess around with it. Uh, yeah, and then I, I'll usually just play chords under that, like. Flipping on a Boss SD1 uh, overdrive. That's pretty much the whole song. Um, I'll take it through here. I'll take all the parts without delay and effects. So here you can hear my clean tone, which is just. So first part. And then.